our prophet sweet medicine Eric Corns told us that this time there was a uh, two men that were going to come from the east one was white and the other one was going to be black the first sign what the first man of white was going to be he'll be mini and powerful he'll take our language he'll take our ceremonies he'll eventually take our way of life but one in many will have the heart like us and learn to take pity on people and help people and uh, I feel that the Conscious Alliance and the people that, that donate and contribute to Conscious Alliance are of that prophecy. The Conscious Alliance is a nonprofit organization from Boulder, Colorado that I founded as I got out of college and uh, I started the nonprofit as a continuation of efforts I had begun in high school mainly having to do with feeding um, public feeding and the redistribution of surplus food. And so we started setting up food drives at concerts with the Art That Feeds People incentive. People donate 10 food items and we give away rock art. We're putting an outlet for service uh, right in the middle of someone's good time. Everywhere these bands play, they know that on their tours, these, this food's going locally. They're making a positive impact in the communities that they play music in. String cheese. And, uh, and the Conscious Alliance have, uh, have forged a beautiful partnership. We show up and play, the fans show up and bring the goods, and Justin sees that it gets distributed to the people who need it. A lot of the food that we've gotten through running all these food drives across the country is coming from people my age, and that's really the biggest compliment we've gotten from the food banks, is that you don't typically see people our age donating to food drives. And we found a way to make that happen using the Art That Feeds incentive, and using the music industry as really a voice for us to get the word out about what we're doing. The majority of hunger deaths are caused by chronic malnutrition. Families facing extreme poverty are simply unable to get enough food to eat. You know, they donated 10 food items on their way into a concert, and on their way out, there's a full truck of food that's going somewhere, not just because one person donated 10 food items, but because this whole entire community did. My name is uh, Floyd Hand, and the Indian, and my native name is uh, Looks for Buffalo. Looks for Buffalo means to take care of my people. A young man came to my home and he heard about me and he wanted to uh, visit me. And his name was Justin. I said, you want to join me? You can join me. So he said, well, I believe I like that, he said. And in, in speaking with Floyd and, and kind of seeking some direction, um, Floyd encouraged him if he really wanted to to help people, he would start by doing some sort of outreach on reservations, which are essentially third world countries right here in the heart of America. It started with Pine Ridge and it's since grown to several reservations. Getting our last load for the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation, we got like 400 turkeys, 400 bags of potatoes, 400 boxes of stuffing, 800 cans of green beans, 800 cans of corn, and I think 400 cans of cranberry sauce, so 400 full Thanksgiving turkey meals. The focus has always been on getting food to people who need it. I was, got directed to the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota, and once I started going there, um, I've never stopped going. On Pine Ridge alone, there's over 80% alcoholism and 80% unemployment. So a lot of times these broken households, it's the children who get left out and it's the elders who are no longer able to take care of themselves. We were eventually able to build a food pantry on the Pine Ridge Reservation, which now services and distributes food to hundreds of families at the end of every month. And these aren't people who are becoming reliant on the food that we bring up there. It's really an emergency food situation. We can start a network of student groups nationally that have college students working with high school students on creative projects to educate people and also fight hunger in their communities. And really that when you make it easy for people to give, that they will. Because our theory is that people are naturally good and when you give them a chance to do something good, they will.